I became a printmaker uh, after oh some years of doing pen and ink drawings, which started when I did my master's thesis in zoology. I have been a full-time artist, done art all my life, never expected to do anything with it, and one day I was teaching school, the next day I was a full-time artist. That was 36 years ago. The actual transition from, let's say, science teacher to artist came when I needed something at the end of a school day just to, to get my mind off the teaching. And the summer between the fourth and fifth years of teaching, my wife entered me in an art show in Daytona Beach, Florida. And before the show even started, I sold one drawing, and that was it. On weekends, I did art shows. During the week, I taught. At night, I drew. And at the end of that school year, I handed in a request for a year's leave of absence. And by October of that year, I handed in my full-blown resignation and haven't been back since. Okay. Get it. The one thing that the teaching did for me was to teach me to teach. And so now I teach printmaking. And I love it. Yeah. That's nice. Good. Good. And I'm to a point now where I do the artwork for the artwork's sake and not for money. Uh, although the money helps. <laughs> yeah, First and foremost, the vast majority of, of imagery that I do is imaginary, but it's based on things that I've seen. So there's a close tie between reality and imagination. Whether I'm out canoeing on a river, uh, whether I'm driving, I find inspiration in the Wakiva River. Little Wakaiva, Rock Springs Run, all the way out to the St. Johns River, down the St. Johns River to Blue Springs. I just remember what I see. And, uh, you know, it could be a combination of birds that I see along the shoreline, lily pads, blooming or not, cypress trees, Spanish moss. And that is really what drives me, is the Florida landscape. Etching in particular, printmaking in general, I see less and less of at the art shows. Etching in particular is a tedious medium. And it takes, I would say, the special person who wants to sit down and spend hours bent over a drawing table, scratching through a, an acid-resistant coating that you paint on a plate. Rembrandt did it. Uh, Durer did it. Forget about putting in lines like this. I learned that uh, when times got tough, I would sit down and just bury myself in the artwork. And the problems can be chipped away at if I have to work at them at all. Uh, or they solve themselves, either one. But instead of my throwing myself off a bridge, I threw myself into the artwork, and it pulled me through. Watch full episodes of Artisodes every Thursday at 8 p.m. on WUCF-TV.